special thanks to Odoo for sponsoring today's video. What is up good people? Welcome and welcome back to another video. It's your girl Alex and Defined by Alex and I just have a question. Have you ever wanted to have a website but you don't want the financial commitment to where you have to pay month to month? You don't want the subscription to keep holding you back and you don't want to feel pressured of building your website within a 7 or 14 day trial. If you're sitting there and you're like yes that's me then this video is going to be perfect for you. In today's video I'm going to be sharing with you guys how you can create a website for free using Odoo. So I know you guys are probably like Alex what's Odoo? <laughs> well let me tell you friend. Odoo is a website platform that is simple yet robust when it comes to designing an e-commerce store. Now, I know a lot of the times you guys hear about other competitors when it comes to building a website and how they give you like a seven day trial or a 14 day trial and they kind of apply the pressure of getting your website built in seven or 14 days. But I would just keep it real with you guys. Like that's not always realistic when you're getting started and you may not have the budget to adhere to those guidelines of the seven and 14 day trial because you may need more time to really build your website. You may not know what to add and simply if this is your first time ever creating a website then it's going to take you a little bit longer to get acclimated to e-commerce and what it should look like to where you can look very very professional. So in today's video I'm going to be sharing with you guys how to build a website for free using Odoo. Thank you so much Odoo for sponsoring today's video. I'm going to be sharing with you guys how to create your website using Odoo's platform and sharing some really cool features when it comes to building your website how easy it is is, and the best part of it all, it is free, my friends, okay? Yes, I said that. There is no credit card required, no financial commitment getting started. You can design your website sitting in one space and have a really compelling website that looks super professional, all from dragging and dropping. So, let me hop into my computer and show you what I mean. Okay, good people, so I am looking at pretty much the homepage for Odoo, and it's super simple to find, too. All you have to do is just search odoo.com in Google or your, you know, your web browser and this is what will pull up okay so this is the home page now you have two options when it comes to getting started you can go in this middle section where it says start now it's free you can also go in this top right as well try it for free let's go ahead and get started I'm gonna go ahead and click on the middle so start now for free okay so this next page here just right off the gate I'll do let you know that again it's free instant access there's no credit card required so again you don't have to get up go get your card all the inconvenience of that you can literally build your website all in one spot at the same time getting started with building a website you're going to want to choose the e-commerce option here so I'm going to go ahead and select that and as a reminder you have a little box right here that tells you that it's free with unlimited users forever so let's go ahead and click continue okay so on this next screen here this is where you are pretty much putting your information so your first and last name the email um, specifically I would of course suggest that you do like your business email your website name so what is the name of your business Business, followed by your phone number and then of course your country and your language so I'm going to go ahead and type all this in here in just a second and then I'll be right back so while I'm here I would like to say that if you ever change your mind on like what app you wanted to choose before you got too deep into building your website you can always just go back by just selecting change app selection and then it takes you back to that first screen where you saw all of the app options you know that you can choose to get started with Odoo so now I'm going to go ahead and select start now okay so now that you put in your information like your business name your business website and all that stuff if you click start now then you're gonna have a good celebratory moment with getting started using Odoo and then this is what you will see after that point now before I move on I wanted to stress that if you are someone who likes to do things more manually which hey that is your business I am not mad at you but before I click let's do it I wanted to just focus on this um, section right here in the bottom right that says skip and start from scratch so if you wanted to just do everything from scratch fully manually you will leave that you have that option if not if you're someone who likes to just go ahead and let the AI you know driven software do it for you then I suggest you go ahead and click let's do it like I'm about to do right now so I'm going to click that and so now this is where you want to tell Odoo what you want it to do so because we're building an online and e-commerce store what do you think we're going to click <laughs> so I'm going to select online store and so for me I want to do like clothing uh, more specifically though if you want to like really niche it down you 
can. So I'm going to do t-shirts. So I'm going to do t-shirt store. And then it also asks you, what is the main objective? Now for all businesses I know that are online, you want to make money. So you want to get the sales. So in the drop down menu right here, I want to select sell more. But if you wanted to, as far as like getting leads, develop the brand, inform customers, schedule appointments, all that good stuff, you can choose that. But again, the sole basis of having a business and online store is, you know, is to make money. So I'm going to go ahead and select sell more. Okay. So for this next screen, this is pretty cool because Odoo has this really good AI driven software. So when it comes to really selecting your colors, you don't have to put much thought into it. One thing you can do is you can choose a pre-made palette like you see right here, or if you add your logo, then it's going to detect the colors for you. So let me show you what I mean. Okay. So as you guys can see, I added my logo here and if I hover over it, I can always change it, but I added my logo. And as you see, I have my own like custom made color palette. So this can save you so much time when it comes to choosing the right colors for your brand or trying to match those colors, you know, with like the hex code and stuff like that. It does it all for you. And I really appreciate that because again, it saves you that time. Okay, friends. So for this next screen here, this is going to be where if you want to add like extra plugins or add ons to your e commerce store, then you can. I do want to stress one thing that when it comes to adding certain types of plugins, that they are going to be paid. However, not all of them are paid. So for an example, if you want to add like live chat to your store where you want to actually, you know, um, portray that you can chat with your visitors and things like that, this is going to be a free service. Whereas if you were trying to publish like a job or set an appointment, that those are going to be more of your paid plugins. So when it comes to this screen here, I just want to stress that what you see, you can definitely add, but there's going to be some plugins that are both paid and free depending on which one you choose. So this last part here is pretty much choosing your theme. Now, when it comes to Odoo, again, it does so much work for you. As you can see, I love the fact that it's really not much brain power when it comes to creating a website, especially if you're new to this. Okay. So as you guys can see here, there are three things that you can choose from. And if I just hover, it gives you like this running like view of what they all look like. So you can choose which one, you know, that thinks it looks the best to your eye and stuff like that. So I personally like this first one. So I'm gonna go ahead and choose this first one right here. All right. So now we are just waiting for Odoo to do its thing and create us a website where we can just change it once it's done. All right. So we have made it. We have made it to the website building piece of Odoo. This is like one of my most favorite parts of today's video, because I know when I got started really starting to learn how to run a business, create a website, I didn't really know what all to add, what would look appealing to customers, what should I focus on in the header and things like that. So getting started on this top section here, we have the logo, home, shop, contact us, and then we have our cart icon as well. You guys notice how there's like this hovering teardrop looking icon, and that's basically just to guide you on letting you know like what you can, you know, customize and alter. That is how easy it is when it comes to making changes. So you can literally click into this section and you can just start typing. So let's just say, I want to say, welcome to our shop. So I'm going to type in welcome to our shop. And it is as easy as that. If I wanted to also change the subtext as well, I can do that. But let me go to help you focus on the right hand side too, because over here is where you can pretty much add more of that customization to your store. So again, focus on these teardrop, you know, types of graphics, because it really helps you with like tips and tricks. So if you wanted to replace the image, they saying you can, if I wanted to change like the font, I could as well. Um, they also have blocks too. So if I wanted to take away a block and add a block, I could. So let me show you guys what I mean by that. Let's just say if I wanted to change this and take this away, I could. I can just simply delete this block, okay? And if I wanted to ever like just change the layout of the website, I can always just drag and drop and just put it below something else. So for an example, let's just say I wanted that top part that you guys see below this middle section. So I can just drag and drop it and now it's in a new orientation, okay? You 
can just merely customize it all right here without having that pressure of knowing like what part controls what when it comes to coding and things like that. Also, when it comes to this right hand panel, you can also change the theme too. So if I wanted to change like my color preset, I could. I can just choose a different palette and it could just change it, you know, just like that. It's going to obviously prompt me. Do I want to make those changes? You can say okay or cancel and you can just keep it moving with building your website. Now, I'm sure a few of you are like, Alex, how are you getting all these pictures? Where are these pictures coming from? Well, my friends, Odoo has Unsplash embedded in it. So if you haven't heard of Unsplash, it is basically a website where you can get like free royalty free stock photos and things like that to pretty much add more of that professional touch to your website. So this is where you guys are seeing these pictures from. Um, I think this is also really helpful in case you are selling like blank products and you want to find an image that kind of like correlates to your blank products. You can just simply do replace here and I can just type in like, let me do blank t-shirts or I can do black t-shirts and let's see what pops up. So as you guys can see, I can pretty much just go ahead and change that picture. And now it looks like I just uploaded the photo that I took, but I did it. And that's because again, Odoo has Unsplash embedded with it. And you can always choose photos that goes with your website. So moving on as far as the website configurator, you guys, I hope this comes off pretty easy because it really is. You can take so much time and really put this website together all by just controlling your blocks, your style, your theme. If you ever wanted to make changes, again, there is no pressure because Odoo has a hosting and supporting feature to where you can have your custom domain free for one year. So if you ever are feeling like you're in a rush to build a website, don't worry about that because you have so much time to make those changes and everything's pretty much a free for all when it comes to designing your online website using Odoo. All right, good people. So I really hope that helped you guys with understanding how to build a website using Odoo, how how easy it is again the dragging and dropping feature was my first love when I first started using Odoo there's really no complications when it comes to building a website anymore you don't have to have any coding experience you don't have to copy and paste for things to be embedded into your website you can drag and drop you can update your own pictures and I just feel like when it comes to building a website who wants to sit here hours on end to build a website that they can build in like 10 minutes so as far as my final thoughts with using Odoo I think that you guys should really try it. I'll be leaving the link in my description box below. You guys can sign up for free. You guys can have your custom domain free for one year and you can have all the flexibility and changes that you need to make in the course of that year so that way you can have the time to really build your website the way that you like it. So again, thank you so much Odoo for sponsoring today's video. If y'all like this video, then don't forget to give me a like and a comment. But as always, don't forget to do what? Mind your business and always choose yourself first and I'll be back in my next video. Bye y'all.